So in 2005, like I mentioned earlier, you guys both played together on the Cowboys. Let's watch this highlight. Third down and nine. He's on Johnson. Going in touchdown. Very tough play in the corner of the end zone. And Drew Bledsoe, elated, connects with Keyshawn Johnson with a 14-yard touchdown play. And the Cowboys have taken a 32-31 lead. They are going to go for two. Here it is. Keyshawn Johnson and Terry Glenn have just absolutely stepped up in this second half and made great plays. Keyshawn has been huge coming across the middle. Finally pays off, gets a touchdown catch on the outside setup. <laughs> now we're just watching that. Now I remember running that play in seven on seven when you used to practice or when we used to play. But Drew, do you remember how many touchdowns you threw to my dad that season? I don't remember the number. Um, I remember our first game out in uh, out in uh, San Diego. Our first game together threw him the game winner. Yeah, we little, did, uh, we little, uh, we, we uh, two touchdowns in that game in San Diego. I think it was five that year, right? Drew, you got a you got a uh, answer for me? For I'm going to take the over. I'm going to take the over at six, but I don't know. Yeah, it's six. The is answer six? is six exactly. Yeah. But Drew, do you? So I coached my son seven on seventeen when he was before he went high school. The whole deal. And I used to run that same play. Do you remember exactly what play that was? I remember the play, yes. Um, and I, I was in enough different offenses that I'm trying to – I'm going to see if I can come up with the, with the terminology. So it was probably uh, uh, like Z short. Nope, uh, zip. Zip, that's right. That's right. We changed it to zip. That was in that – yeah, zip. So it'd be like uh, – uh, Oh, Think uh, about here. I'll give it to you. So, uh, okay, go ahead. Ter Terry start. Terry used to run, and he was the primary Z because he was the quick guy. All right, he brought all the short motions, and I lobbied for it. I have been lobbying Bill and them for a while, Todd Haley and them, and I said, "Y'all got to let me run it. Let's flip, and we go Z zip with me." Ole read circle the read on the backside. Terry had the corner, and then I had the little speed out. Speed out. And, and, you know, it's just one of those things. I always wanted to run it, but they wouldn't let me run it because they said I was a giraffe, so I couldn't run it. I'm like, no, nah, man, let me run it. Then Drew threw it on a dime. No, yeah, that Frozen nice rope. Play, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Then you, uh, then, you, uh, then you turned that thing up and got it across the pylon. No, hey, so, Junior, Junior, let me tell you a little bit about your dad. Because uh, you know, when, uh, when we were opponents – you know, watch your dad at SC, watch him with the Jets, you know, and there was a lot of noise, you know, just give me the damn ball, all this yeah. bullshit, whether you, your dad. But then I got to play with him. And as a teammate, man, you know, I had so much respect for your dad. And, and, and because his perception from the outside that I had versus who he actually was as a football player, very different. Mm -hmm. Your dad, was, he was a true teammate that would do the hard stuff. He would come across the middle. He would block. He would take the hits. Um, and, uh, man, he was, he, was a, he was a guy you wanted to go to war with, dude, as a receiver. And, um, you know, a lot of these receivers are true divas. Um, you know, you've got to give them a hug all the time and tell them how pretty they are and, and, uh, and give them all that love. But your dad would do the hard stuff that, uh, that, that often goes overlooked. Um, and uh, stuff that a lot of receivers were not willing to do. Uh, so, man, I, I just had I had so much fun playing with your dad, but it was very different than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to hate him. <laughs> I thought I was going to hate you're him. Right. You know, going on a roller coaster, coaster huh? Yeah, so I to, you know, go buy him gifts and get him flowers and tell him he looked cute and all that <laughs> stuff. And instead, man, he was very different as a player, man. He was a dog. No, everybody it's, – it's funny. Thank you for those kind words, Drew, but everybody – has always had that perception of me. No matter where yeah. what working environment I'm in, whether it's this fucking TV shit, when I walked into ESPN the first time, they signed me to a contract and everybody's walking around on eggshells as I'm gonna bite their heads off. I'm like, dude, I'm not a ghost. It's fine. I'm I don't don't take a book's title or persona on the sideline when I get between the white lines and I look a certain way that this is who I am. And and that I get it. Sometimes you you write that story and people you write the story about yourself and it lives with you for a long period of time. But it's always appreciative of my teammates when they come on shows and they talk about me as a person that they yeah. say glowing things and nothing negative. It's always good. Yeah. It's always good, man. But it's uh, 
Yeah, it just it's just funny, and I know that other people have that same perception. And you come in, you're like, oh man, no, this this guy, this guy's different than, um, and and in some ways, the exact opposite of the perception that we had coming in. Yeah, uh, you know, like, uh, you're like, oh no, this guy's a this guy's a freaking warrior. Like he'll he'll go, he'll do all the hard stuff. You know, I was up with uh with uh with Eric Molds up in uh, in Buffalo, and I don't know if Eric will ever listen to this. If you do, love you, buddy. Uh, but Eric was a guy, man, about once, like once a season, once a season, man, I would have to go hug him up and tell him how great he was and, and, you know, do all the stuff. And then we could get him, we could get him going again, but, uh, but never had to do that with, uh, with Keyshawn. You know, he was, he was a dude that was going to go to war with you all the time, um, and, uh, do the hard stuff. That's why I say, man, it would have been fun if we could have. Yeah. I, I, uh, if I took my frustrations out on anybody, it would be Parcells and them, the coaches. Group for him. having yeah, think, me I, doing all the bullshit, I think, I think, I think don't reward I, me. I think you and I, uh, I think you and I only got into it one time because I threw one late and uh, on the sidelines, and you got blown up. And uh, and I think they took the ball uh, away from you, and so I'm like, man, hold on, fucking ball. And you're like, man, you got me fucking hit. And like, so we barked at each other. For- <laughs> And people tried to turn it into a thing, like, oh, here we go. It's finally blown up. Like, no, we just yelled at each other for a second and then yeah, we were all good. We were good. Uh, it was it was against Philadelphia. Against Philadelphia, yeah. uh, I felt like it was Shelton Brown or Lito. Yeah. They they, yeah. they he fluffed off and we thought he was going to the third, but he kind of squatted. You threw mm-hmm. it late. I made the attempt to catch it, but he bang, mm-hmm. bang, play the ball popped up. And then you mm-hmm. couldn't tell what it was. You just saw the guy going the other way. And that's what it was like, hold on to the ball. I'm like, man, fuck you. You do the motherfucker. <laughs> and it yeah. became a whole thing. And then me and Drew, we were fine. We actually we probably we drank some wine. But it's, uh, you know, it's like, uh, it's like most things in life, though. You really get mad at somebody else when it was your fault, right? So, like, like I threw that thing. It's like, I knew it was late. I knew it wasn't a great ball. So I had to go blame you instead of like, <laughs> No, it's all good. <laughs> We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.